Hi, my name is Bill Allen, and for those of you who don't know, I'm a retired Navy test pilot that served 20 years in the military. I've flown over 50 aircraft in my career, from jets all the way to helicopters, and today I'm gonna to break down some of the most heroic plane landings in the history of aviation. Before we get started, if you enjoy these videos and you want more aviation content, like and subscribe and share this with a friend who doesn't turn their phone on airplane mode when they go flying. All right, the first one is actually a really famous crash that you've probably heard of. It's called the Miracle on the Hudson. It occurred on January 15th, 2009, when US Airways Flight 1549, piloted by Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberg and First Officer Jeffrey Skiles, made an emergency landing on the Hudson River right after both engines lost power due to a bird strike. Taking off from New York's LaGuardia Airport, the aircraft struck a flock of birds, prompting Captain Sullenberg's quick decision to attempt a water landing. Remarkably, all 155 people on board, including passengers and crew, survived the frigid water landing and were safely evacuated. The incidents showcased exceptional skill, composure, and teamwork of the flight crew, turning a potential catastrophic event into a testament to the importance of pilot training, emergency preparation, and decisive action in the face of adversity. The successful outcome of the Miracle of the Hudson remains a celebrated and iconic moment in aviation history. You would think that losing both engines right after takeoff in downtown New York City would cause a massive crash and everybody to die. You may have seen the movie, they made a movie about it, but this was literally one of the most amazing feats of aviation that I've heard of in my career because this happened while I was flying. The miracle on the Hudson is an absolute miracle. I've seen many people try to recreate it and make it back to the airport and really bash Sully for what he did, but I will sit here and tell you he did the best he could with the information that he had and saved a lot of lives. All right, the second one is called the Gimli Glider. It was in 1983. It refers to an extraordinary aviation incident that took place on July 23rd, 1983. Air Canada Flight 143, it was a Boeing 767-200 series that experienced a fuel miscalculation due to a mix-up between metric and imperial units during refueling in Montreal. The mistake led to the aircraft running out of gas at an altitude of 41,000 feet over Manitoba, Canada. Captain Robert Pearson and First Officer Maurice Quintal skillfully glided the aircraft to an emergency landing at the decommissioned Royal Canadian Air Force Base in Gimli, Manitoba. The successful landing executed without engines earned the nickname the Gimli Glider. Despite the unexpected nature of the incident, all 69 passengers and crew members survived without any major injuries. The Gimli Glider incident highlighted the importance of clear communication, standardized units of measurement, and the critical role of pilot expertise in responding to unforeseen challenges in aviation. Running out of fuel is a massive problem. I did a video with my biggest mistakes of 2023 and I had a flight where I almost did the same. But we practice these engine off landings and rarely do civilian aviators practice this, especially at 41,000 feet. But up at that altitude, you have a long time to figure out where you're going, but you only get one chance to make that landing. Those pilots did an amazing job getting on deck and safely landing and saving all those lives. The next one is Qantas Flight 32. This happened in 2010. It was an Airbus A380 that gained international attention following an incident on November 4th, 2010. En route from Singapore to Sydney, the aircraft suffered an uncontained engine failure shortly after takeoff. Debris from the engine punctured the aircraft's wing, leading to significant systems damage as well. The captain and his crew masterfully managed the crisis, successfully returning the aircraft to Singapore airport for an emergency landing. The incident was later attributed to a manufacturing defect in an engine component. Remarkably, all 469 passengers and crew on board survived, and the event underscored the importance of rigorous maintenance, pilot training, and the resilience of modern aircraft. The successful handling of Qantas Flight 32 demonstrated the effectiveness of crew training and the robust design of the Airbus A380, contributing to improved safety measures within the aviation industry. The next one was United Airlines Flight 232. 
It was a McDonnell Douglas DC-10 that experienced a catastrophic engine failure on July 19, 1989. During a flight from Denver to Chicago, a fan disc in the tail engine failed, causing the loss of hydraulic fluid and rendering the aircraft nearly uncontrollable. These large aircrafts need hydraulic fluid to basically control any of the flight controls. They're so big and heavy with the wind resistance that's out there that you need hydraulic systems. Despite the dire circumstances, the flight crew, led by Captain Alfred Haynes, exhibited remarkable skill and teamwork. Using differential engine thrust, that just means uh, thrust from different engines to maintain stability, they managed to maintain some control over the aircraft, conducting a harrowing crash, landing at Sioux Gateway Airport in Sioux City, Iowa. However, the impact of the landing resulted in the breakup of the aircraft, causing fatalities and injuries, but a significant number of the passengers and crew survived. This incident prompted thorough investigation and improvement in aircraft design, emergency procedures, and pilot training. The extraordinary efforts of the flight crew in the face of unprecedented challenges continue to be studied for lessons they can provide in aviation safety. A lot of times, these accidents lead us to new things that we didn't think could possibly happen with an airframe and new emergency procedures that we train on to make sure that if they ever happen again, we know what to do. The last one is Ethiopian's Airline Flight 961. That became tragically known for a hijacking incident that occurred on November 23rd, 1996. The Boeing 767 en route from Ethiopia to Nairobi, Kenya was hijacked by three individuals demanding asylum. In an attempt to thwart the hijackers, the crew performed evasive maneuvers, but the aircraft ultimately ran out of fuel and ditched in the Indian Ocean near the Comoros Islands. Tragically, 125 people lost their lives in the crash, while a significant number survived. The investigation that followed provided insights into aviation security measures, hijack response protocols, and the importance of effective communication and coordination in such critical situations. It's easy to think that when you're put in these types of situations that you would react in the right way, but in reality, you won't be under ideal circumstances, you'll be under immense pressure. And you only have a few seconds to make a decision that will impact hundreds of lives. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more aviation content, and I'll see you next time.